welcome guys to another say another vlog guys long time long time long time we don't do no vlog like this yeah guys so we're there on our way to lovers leap today you know guys on our way to lovers leap today guess what guys we're gonna show you what's going on over by lovers leap you don't know beautiful spot in jamaica saint elizabeth right now i'm in junction i'm heading over to lovers leap so guys don't go anywhere stay tuned no matter of fact go subscribe to the channel right now hit that notification bell yeah so whenever you want drop a video you guys get to see all right don't move come on guys it's a Jamaican thing, baby. So come on and join me. We, we the on the exploration and cross the island down the sister is free. It's a Jamaican thing, baby. So come on and join me. We the on the exploration and cross the island down the sister is free. So come on and check out this channel. Dual Dual is YouTube channel. Where it's all about showcasing Jamaica exotic places, people, and things. Don't forget though. To like, subscribe, comment and share. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Lover's leap. The drive up the mountain to get here is lovely on its own, with cool, crisp, refreshing breeze greeting your face through the window and wisping at your flyaways. At the top is a welcoming sign telling you that you've reached your destination after which you can park in their decent sized parking lot. There's a sign that says guided tours cost 300 Jamaican dollars per person. Otherwise, you can choose to wander around the premises if you like. You can even walk through the casual bar which takes you to the balcony just to take in the magnificent view. Of course, an ice cold red striped bear makes everything better. It's all hazy where the sea meets the sky, as if a constant bit of condensation is hovering around the horizon to add to the magic of the place. The view is endless for miles and one never grows tired of staring into that obscure line of blue meeting blue. Lovers Leap, one of the most beautiful spots to be in Jamaica, in St. Elizabeth. Now guys, I happen to visit Lovers Leap before hurricane burial and guys it was breathtaking the views the ambience mm. now guys after burial there was leap change significantly hurricane beryl has laid ruin to islands across the caribbean so jamaica was braced for the worst it delivered more of a glancing blow than a direct hit in the end. But those who lived through this storm won't forget it anytime soon. Were you scared? Yeah, we were scared. It was terrible. Strong wind, building tearing down, all them stuff. We're still alive. Nobody not get no hurt. That is the greatest. Are you worried that more storms might be on their way? Yes, because this is the earliest time we ever get. We never look for a storm so early, mm -hmm. but as them say, God works, so we can't do nothing. People battled to return to their homes and assess the damage. The wind may have subsided. Oh, go on, it's a Jamaican thing TV fans now, guys. We're there, and I guess what we're there here in St. Elizabeth again, guys. We're at Lovers Leap. And you guys know the story about Lover's Leap, you know. Where well, you man, where are you going? Yeah, fast, we can run through all Lover's Leap. Today is not a busy day like that, guys. You don't know. Today is basically Tuesday. Yeah, just the start of the week. You don't know. More, eh, way more busy than, than this on a weekend. Yeah, man, but we just uh, do a fast run through, guys. Show you guys what's up. You don't know what Lover's Leap is like. For all you guys that haven't been here before, I don't know about Lover's Leap. All right, we'll just get fast run through, guys. All right, guys, so this is the entrance to the compound. As you guys can see, that's the lighthouse over there. And we have the 
restaurant and bar and lounge area. Right here at the front you have this lovely sign here. The lovers leave sign. You want to head down to the parking here over this side. Lovers leap. Alright guys, so we're we'll gonna make a walk through right now. Show you guys what time it is. Alright guys, so we're stopping at the parking lot. You don't know this is a little corridor area. And a gazebo over there, more than one gazebo. Now guys you can see the sea from here. And you're only seeing the Caribbean Sea from here, so you can imagine the rise of the cliff. Is <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going inside the bar here right now. All right, guys. So that's the lighthouse over there, and uh, I'm not sure if the lighthouse is a part of this property. But yeah, that's the light goes over there. Lover's Leap is known for its most stunning and sweeping views. Mixed with romance and tragedy is the Lover's Leap property. This historic property is possibly the only place in Jamaica that commemorates the love affair of two enslaved Africans, which ended in tragedy. Legend has it that Mizzy and Tunki were two enslaved people from the Yardley Chase estate who would secretly meet at Lover's Leap, hand in hand, to express their love for each other. However, their enslaver had a special liking for Mizzy. This led to him arranging for Tunki to be sold to another estate far away, separating the lovers. In attempting to avoid being separated, the pair chose to flee the estate and were chased to the edge of this cliff. The couple chose to end their lives by leaping into their death. This love tragedy legend was the inspiration of the novel Lover's Leap, written by Jamaican author Horane Smith, who grew up in the area. The legend is also remembered by a wooden carving of the two lovers at the site. On the adjoining property is a lighthouse standing at about 40 meters, which is 1,600 feet above sea level. It is the highest lighthouse above sea level in the entire Western Hemisphere. This 30 meter, 100 foot cylindrical steel tower with a lantern and an octagonal gallery was constructed in 1979 to guide ships safely along the coast. It stands as a reminder of Jamaica's maritime heritage and offers a glimpse into the island's history of navigation and trade. The Lover's Leap Lighthouse was declared a national monument on May 9, 2002, and the Lover's Leap property was designated as a protected national heritage site on May 9, 2002. Inside at the lounge and the bar here right now. 
the food at Lover's Leap is as local as the crowd that gathers. Dinner is a la carte, and rather than menus which might blow away in the strong breeze, dishes are listed on a blackboard over the large wood wraparound bar. Expect a menu filled with Jamaican favorites like fish tea and codfish fritters, conch, chicken, oxtail, bami, and festival. guys don't forget to like share and subscribe you don't know beautiful lovers leap guys it was an awesome experience don't forget to like share and subscribe now guys you don't know i think i'm going to picture you know, places like those so go ahead check out these pictures of lovers leap it's uh...